Hi everybody, if you are a real estate agent and you want to know how you can perfect your listing and buyer presentations, then stay tuned because that's what we're talking about today. Hi, I'm Kim Hughes of Kim Hughes and & Company and I am thrilled to have you here. And if you are uh, new to my channel, please know that I appreciate it so much and that if you are really interested in everything that we are offering you, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe below. Um, we develop the videos and put them out every week for real estate agents with tips and strategies to help you build a better solid business. So if you like what we're delivering, make sure you like us and make sure you subscribe. Great. So today what we're gonna talk about is your listing presentation and your buyer presentation, right? So let's talk about the listing presentation. The first thing I want you to do is take a look at what you have now and when was the last time you updated it. So that's the first thing we want to look at is making sure that you refresh the listing presentation. Make sure that your information is correct, your branding is updated if it's changed over the last year or so. Um, make sure that you have a good picture on there of you. Um, ways that people can, the sellers can contact you. And then let's talk about the content. So you should have, of course, a bio on who you are and what brought you to the real estate industry. What makes you stand out um, in, that, in that market that you're in? What designations do you have? Um, what do those mean? You know, when I'm a seller and I, I look at that and I see that you're a CRS or an SCRS or um, you know, a GRI, what do those mean? So you need to make sure that everything in your presentation tells your seller the answer because you want to make sure that you answer that question before they even think to ask it, right? So what we want to do in that presentation after you've kind of given your bio and your background, um, your designations, talk about your brokerage, you know, maybe one page about the brokers that you work with or the franchise that you're with. Um, if you're independent, then, you know, talk about being an independent agent and, and you have your own brokerage. You know, it doesn't really matter. You just need to give a little history on the company that you are affiliated with. Then I want you to talk about the market stats. What's been going on in the last few months in the market, maybe the last year. Put those stats in there. Pull them from your MLS, put them in there. Um, put your solds for the last year, 2018, and if you had a really good 2017 and 16, go back and put those in there. Um, you know, I'm the kind of the person that looks at it that says, you know, I don't care if you sold five houses in 2018. I just want to know that you sold them, you know. Um, yeah, there's going to be other agents out there that sold maybe 20 or 10, but I sold five. And let me tell you how I did that. And let me tell you the difference that I make when I sell your house. So if I'm looking at it as a seller. I don't really want to know the quantity of what you sold. I want to know the value that you put in and the time that you put in to really get that listing on the market and, and marketed correctly and bring in those really great qualified buyers. Okay. So it's really not about the number of homes that you sold, which of course, you know, it is a big deal, but don't feel intimidated if you only sold five homes last year or three, or it's your first year in the industry, you know? Talk about that. If your first year industry, second year, the, the knowledge and, and the expertise that you bring to the table is what they're looking for, okay? So keep that in mind. Don't be intimidated by all this other stuff because there's always gonna be out there, somebody out there that's sold more than you, that's made more than you, and all that stuff. And that's okay. Let them do that. You focus on you and you be the best you to your clients that you can be. And that's what they expect. You know, high-end customer service, talk about that in your presentation. Because today, we have lost that great art of customer service. So when you talk about how you're going to take care of your clients, you're there for your clients, you're going to do A, B, and C for your clients, make sure you can follow through. Okay? So your sellers today want to know more about, you know, how are you going to sell their home? At what price do you recommend selling their home? and the customer service that goes along with it, okay? That's gonna be the key to success is your customer service. Then the, the next thing is, you know, um, 
you know, just things that you're going to do to market, you know, list bullets of what you're going to do to market that home, you know, um, what social media, how to connect with you on social media, etc. So there's so much that you can put into that. And most franchises or brokerages will give you a, a generic template, right? Of a, a listing presentation. And that's great. But if you want to customize it and make it more specialized to you, your personality, to your market of what you're going to do, then let us know. We'll help you create that listing presentation. We want it to be customized. We want to see you put the effort into making that listing presentation that one thing that when you walk into that appointment, it's going to help you stand out, right? So keep that in mind. So if you need help with your listing presentation, always know that Kim Hughes and Company, we're gonna be here to help you put that together. We've created thousands of listing presentations. So we pretty much know what you need, how it needs to be arranged, and the flow, and the branding, and the delivery, right? So keep that in mind. Now the next thing that we wanna talk about is your buyer presentation. So these are the things that what are you going to do when you have a new buyer and why should that buyer work with you? So let's talk about in that presentation, again, you're going to have a lot of the same information, but this is where you need to ask questions of your buyer. You need to have forms, maybe not in the presentation, but you can give examples and then point them to the website to fill out the forms. Just like, you know, I'm going to back up to the seller. You can do the same thing on your website and create a seller form and put it on your website and have them maybe fill it out um, prior to the appointment so that you can get a little bit more information on them so you are more prepared when you go on that listing appointment. You're more prepared when you sit down with that buyer. Um, are they pre-qualified? You know, how did they go about being pre-qualified? Why should they be pre-qualified? All of this should be in your buyer presentation. Should give them names of people that they can contact if they're if they need a mortgage lender, if they need something more, and what they should be doing to prepare to go into the buying market. Okay, um, again, we help our clients with those buyer presentations. We get them customized. We know what questions to ask your buyers. This is something that you should be sending to your buyers when they first become a lead. And that way they can print it out or they can just sit at it and look at it on their computer. Maybe even upload it to your website where they can look at it there. Um, there's so many ways that you can do this. But these are the two first things that your clients are going to want to look at. And you need to make sure that your buyer and your listing presentation represent you and they represent what you stand for and what you promise to do for your clients, right? So, with that said, if you need help or if you want somebody to review your buyer and your listing presentation, let us know. We'll be happy to give you a review and make recommendations. And if you don't have one, then, you know, there's thousands of them out there, so go find one. Um, if you need to do it yourself, then ask your brokerage, ask your franchise. That's a good place to start. But if you want it to be customized and unique, then let's talk and see how we can help you with that. So thank you so much for today. Um, I enjoy you know spending time with everybody and I love the, the emails and the, the text messages that I get on these tips. So if you really enjoyed today, I would really appreciate it if you give me a like, thumbs up, and then if you like the tips and you wanna be the first to get them in the future, hit that little subscribe button and the minute we put out a video, you'll be the first to know. So thank you so much, and don't forget to jump over to KimHughes.com. We have a lot of information over there on different ways that we can help you in your business, and I have a lot of free downloads as well. So if you have any questions, let me know. Leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks, everybody. Bye.